Hey there and welcome in. In this video I want to talk a little bit about Arch Linux, a little bit about Debian and the truth is that I got a little bit bored. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I got, I got a little bit bored uh, with using Arch Linux for the past year. It, it, it just works too well. I mean, there were a couple of problems. But these problems were nothing I would consider breakage. Like, nothing really break or, or broke uh, on Arch Linux that I would consider like a problem. Generally, it just works fine. It works fine. Uh, I don't use Arch user repository. I, I am very afraid of that. So take this as you will. But the... I, I was going to say main Arch repository, but it's the only Arch repository. <laughs> uh, the the actual Arch Linux, it's um, it's fine, it works, and this is the problem. I got bored. I want to switch back to Debian. That's the video, and I'm gonna see. You in the, and I'm just I'm just kidding. Um, so Debian Tricks is now coming out, and of course I need to try it out. Um, for the past couple of months, I have been using Garage Linux on my um, work computer and I was merely interested in how is that going to work. And in some, uh, in some perspective, I was actually afraid that it would end up badly, but honestly, it also works fine. It, it's good. However, for my work computer, I don't really get any benefit from a rolling distribution. So all in all, and in the, how, how do you put it, in the grand scheme of things, or in the long term, or, or whichever way you want, uh, a stable distribution is much better for something like your work computer. So definitely and without any doubt, I am installing Trixie on my work computer. And what is going to happen with my um, main computer that I use for creating videos, uh, playing video games, um, surfing the internet, uh, producing other stuff uh, with my hobbies, stuff like that. Well, uh, I'm going to make a new experiment. I use a desktop computer. A, in my case, it's actually a floor computer, but, you know, it, they, they call it a desktop computer. I don't know why. I have never had a computer on my desktop. Um, from, from this perspective, I, I, I'm making this, um, I'm make, making this ex experiment. I'm going to use a T580 or maybe T480 laptop. I have both uh, as my main computer for roughly a month. And by roughly a month, what I mean by this, I'm going to uh, get myself a docking station and I'm going to install all of my applications that I usually use uh, for uh, all of the work I, that, that I do. And uh, it is going to be my main desktop computer. So in this case, it is actually going to sit on the desktop docking station, uh, keyboard, mouse, uh, monitors, um, microphone, all, all of this good stuff. However, this computer is rather slow. For my laptoping needs, it's actually perfect. But for my main production computer, it could be a little bit slow because my um, floor computer is quite a lot faster. And by a lot faster, I mean the CPU and not the GPU. Uh, the GPU is also very good, uh, but I'm going to try to decouple my gaming from my uh, main computing needs. So the end result is going to be that I'm going to have a laptop for all of my computing needs, which I will be able to just unplug and take with me whenever I need it. 
and I'm not going to need to have um, all of my stuff being made twice. Um, as for my work, I can use my network storage, my NAS, uh, for my files, but there are a lot of tunings that I do uh, to my desktop environment, to my settings, to my Emacs settings, to my Vim settings. Uh, all that kinds of stuff needs to be done twice if you use two computers and rarely anything, if anything, um, can be synchronized. It, it's just not practical. And then if I have a really nicely configured screensaver uh, over there on my second computer, then I have to do it again on my main computer or maybe I will just not do it. And you see where this is going. So I'm going to see uh, the 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 end result of this testing is going to be uh, well basically how much power do I really need from my main computer? I suspect that eight generation Intel uh, fifteen watt processor is going to be on the weak side and maybe it will not be very good uh, for uh, transcoding my videos for for um, uh, how, how do you put it, for rendering my videos, uh, for my timeline ed editing, but we will see. Uh, also, I have a 4K screen um, in front of me and another one that is like, uh, I don't know, 1K or something like that, uh, but I really won't want to do this test uh, because in the future I, I may think about switching to a laptop. I have been on and off with this idea. I have been talking to some people who use laptops as their primary computers and um, I want to calculate how much power do I need. So this is going to give me the sensor and while I am at it, uh, I have installed Trixie on this laptop and basically I'm going to continue um, with Trixie uh, as my main operating system on this laptop. And after the trial period ends, I'm going to know uh, whether this power is enough or if it's not enough, how much more power do I need from a laptop in order to uh, fit all of my needs and uh, whether Trixie or you know, Debian stable is once again good enough for my needs. Can uh, backports plus flat hub uh, fill up the gaps that will eventually start happening? Uh, we are going to see about that. Uh, I am going to keep you posted and I'm going to see you in the next video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff.